Peppy's Fruit Trees, and I wanted to share with you a little bit of information on some um, organic remedies for insect control. A lot of people these days, they want to stay away from uh, some of the nasty chemicals that are out there on the market and uh, do things in a, in a more organic way. And it's very smart. Those people are very smart. Um, a lot of things can actually be controlled. Some things are very difficult to control, but I would say a good, good portion of the problems you're going to encounter are going to be controllable through uh, organic uh, solutions that are on the market and also, in some cases, uh, some success, some very good success in many cases actually, can be achieved by using uh, homemade remedies. Now, the remedies that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about one in particular, um, which has been in my family for a long time and it works, it works well. Um, but if you use any of these uh, remedies or solutions or homemade um, uh, insecticides, keep in mind that uh, you're doing so at your own risk. So what I recommend is that unless you know your plant and how the plant's going to react to the mix that you're going to either create yourself or you're going to follow someone else's organic re recipe, um, you should always test on a small section of the plant. For example, you might want to just spray this one little area and see how the plant reacts, see if it actually gets rid of the insect problem. Uh, a couple of days later, a week later, take a look at the plant and see what happens. Then make your decision uh, and be sure to mix exactly the same formula in the same quantities. One other quick point, do not spray usually during the day. Um, it's best to spray a couple of hours before the sun goes down. Um, unless the threat of rain is around the corner. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to use uh, four different products uh, to create, actually five different products to create uh, what I call uh, a very good remedy, um, an organic remedy for some of the major insects that you're going to get on your leaves. Today our concern is right over here, we're looking at some scale. I don't know if you can see these little yellowish green dots that are on the stem trunk uh, of the tree right there on the little branches of the tree. And those guys are troublemakers. Those are sucking insects. They suck on the leaves. They suck on the sap that's inside and they can create a lot of problems. Aphids are also and, insects uh, that, that was suck. funny. And aphids are insects that suck. They sure do. Um, but aphids are a problem and uh, scale is also a problem. Uh, both aphids and scale will leave uh, eventually. Uh, you're not seeing it yet, but with the scale eventually in many cases you're going to see some uh, black sooty mold. We don't see any here, so we don't want any of that. So we're going to try to deal with the problem. So basically four plants, all the same, miracle fruit plants. And so what we did is we've got ourselves a, a spray bottle and we took a one gallon jug, I'm sorry, half a gallon jug, and we added the following to it. Now what we want to do is we want to take this and we want to spray and we want to make sure we get it underneath all the leaves. So make sure underneath the leaves, very important. Get a little bit in the soil if you like, but underneath the leaves and all around the plant. So I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to walk around later and I'm going to go around the other side to make sure that I've completely saturated the plant with this. And I know I said we were supposed to test it out and all that earlier, and you will before you use these formulas. But in this case, I know what I'm doing with this particular mix, so I'm not going to sweat it. I know that the plant's not going to have any reaction, and I know that the insects are going to be gone in probably, if not this application, they'll be gone by the second application, maybe 10 days later. What I don't want to see it is getting worse. If I don't see it getting worse, I know I'm heading in the right direction. I put plenty of that on there. I'm not in direct sun. I'm actually in a bit of a shade house here and um, it's dripping off there really, really good. I think I've given it plenty of coverage. Now let me make sure I covered everything, okay? Uh, garlic, you're going to use a couple of garlic cloves. You're going to mash them together, let them sit overnight in some water so that the water soaks up the garlic. Um, the next ingredient that we used was we used the cornstarch. We used Olive oil, I'm sorry, you can use olive oil, but in this case we, we used a um, vegetable oil and uh, we used some dish detergent, all right? Now the specific ingredients, uh, quantities, I'll put on the, uh, 
uh, here uh, listed for you to uh, copy and then uh, try out.